Hallo zusammen, I'm your Vlog Dave. When foreign people think of Germany as a country, they tend to associate it with the German Autobahn. Yeah, the German highway system. So let's talk about 10 surprising facts about the German highway system. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry, to disappoint a few guys, I guess. But no, Adolf Hitler didn't invent or even build the first German Autobahn. It's a propaganda lie. In fact, the first track of the complex German highway system we know today was opened in Cologne in 1932, which was around one year before Hitler even began his reign. It's today's Autobahn A555, connecting Cologne and Bonn. And on a side note, it was opened by Konrad Adenauer, who was Cologne's mayor at the time and who later became Germany's first chancellor after the Third Reich. The actual term Autobahn was already coined by Professor Robert Otzen three years prior, in 1929. Before this, people referred to a little single segment road, predecessors of the Autobahn if you like, only motorized vehicles were allowed to drive on as die nur Automobilstraße, the only automobile street. Germany's highway system is one of the longest and most complex international highway systems. Whereas in 1949 its total length was 2100 kilometers, it's around 13,000 kilometers long at the moment. Regarding prototypes of the German Autobahn, you can even go way more back in time. The training route Berliner Avus was built from 1913 to 1921. It's only 10 kilometers long. It was designed for testing fast motorized vehicles. One misconception many foreign people have regarding the German Autobahn is that there's no speed limit. Yes, it's true that there's no general speed limit for the German Autobahn. But no, there are actually quite a lot of sections on different German Autobahnen where you're only allowed to drive at a maximum allowed speed. For instance, up to 130 km per hour. You can rest at over 700 so-called Rastplätze. Der Rastplatz, the lay-by or rest area. The German Autobahn section with the most steady traffic is a part of the A100 in Berlin, with over 186,000 cars per day. Wow! Although you might not assume it at first, the German Autobahn is in fact a safer place for driving than rural roads are regarding deaths. Statistics say that around 60% of all deaths that are occurring while driving in Germany are happening on rural roads rather than on the German Autobahn. The Autobahn is only responsible for around 12% of all those deaths. At the moment there is only one Autobahn section that prohibits trucks from driving there. It's a part of the A1 near Cologne that runs over a bridge section. The reason for this is the bad condition of this part of the Autobahn, so only trucks with a maximum weight of 3.5 tons are allowed to pass the bridge. And number 10 relating to this, many parts of the German Autobahn system are under construction, quite often. Well, it's not the same parts all the time, but you know. Often this only affects one lane, but sometimes a whole part of the Autobahn is blocked for a certain period of time. However, the regularly happening maintenance for many different parts of the Autobahn as a whole also leads to a comparatively safe place for driving. Around every 15 years or so, the respective upper parts of the tarmac, der Asphalt, are being renewed. Alright guys, those were 10 more or less surprising facts about the German Autobahn. And in case you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button, yeah! Well, I want to know, did you know some of those facts already and which ones were new to you? Make sure to subscribe for more videos about the German language and culture and don't forget to check out the video description with many other social media links and support options for the Vlog Dave channel here on YouTube. Yeah, that's greatly appreciated, obviously. However, thanks for watching. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.